Hi guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I just wanted to share with you, this is my guest design team project for Creelys Dyes, and I just want to thank Annalise for giving me an opportunity to work with her in these amazing dyes. And let me just share with you real quick what I used. So this has probably got to be the best dye to get if you can only get one right now or something. This one is the most versatile, and I used it in the most different ways in this book. So I will show you how I did that. But but this one I absolutely love and it's C-N-L-E-L-T-09 and these are the um, extreme labels and tags definitely a must of any any item to get that one and then I also use the Creolis XXL labels and tags and this is the C-L-L-T-09 and I will link you to everything down below in the description box I also used these pretty flower dies and these are CLSET51. And then also with the matching one, I used CLUNO51. I also used on the edge die, which is what started this whole craze of mine using the Creelys dies. This is CLOTE35. And then I got to play around with the Decorat XL dies. And this is CLD. RXL08. Amazing dies. I will link you down below to order those. They do come from the Netherlands and it is very fast shipping to the US so don't even hesitate for a minute because you will get them before you even know it. So let's take a walk through my project. I made a mini album and this is kind of a folio style. I don't have no um, binding system in this. What it is is basically the pages are stacked as if you were doing a waterfall. So there's only three pages in this book. I am going to do a tutorial on this and when I do I am going to make the spine bigger so when you see the tutorial you will notice that it will be increased from what you see here because I do have alligator mouth with my book because I managed to stuff this. It was it ended up being bigger than I anticipated but you'll see why when I show it to you. But this is a Halloween theme book that I did and I used paper from Michaels and I used the Moonlight Manor. Let's see if you can get it. I used that paper there as well as also the Moonlight Manor paper and other embellished embellishments from Michaels from that collection, the stickers and stuff like that. So right away you're going to notice I did a shaker cover and I know it's hard to see because of the lighting but I do have like little bats floating around in here so I punched those out with a punch I had. And then on the front part of the cover here is where I used the decorate dies and also the little flowers. You can see those. Right there. And let's take a peek. So this is what I came up with. So with the dies, I thought doing a Halloween book that this looked very much Halloween-y. The dies were kind of tombstone shaped, so I just kind of went with it. So what I did was I have three strips here, and this keeps um, what I have it made as a gate closed. So to open it, they just slide right out. And then they, these tabs here alternate, so it goes like this. And I have two corner pockets right here, and then tags in both spots. And then I also created a little window pocket here with one of the accessories that I purchased in the collection. So really cute. And I'm just going to keep those out so I can use them further down. So then this just alternates because it's the way it's attached. Right back down, closes right up. And let's throw this one in. And then I have a magnetic closure on this side here. So it opens up like this. And I may just make cut out with my cricket um my silhouette machine a little bat for my corner pocket just like that and then here this is using on the edge die and I have a little swing pocket super cute and then this opens up like this so you can see I have the matching bats in each corner 
with the tags. Over here with one of the flower dies, I actually cut out, and I have acetate backing it, but I cut out um, some little windows with the flowers. I know it's kind of hard to see. I don't know. Oh, maybe this will work. So you can kind of see the flower shapes. So I made it as a window pocket so you can see into that. And then it just closes back down. And then over here, using the tag upside down, I used it to make a closure with a magnet for my pocket right here. And this lifts up. And I have a nice little pocket hiding out there. And then we flip over. Now again, using the tag, I used it as my closure for my waterfall. And then these flip open like this. And then my waterfall using the on the edge dies. And they just flip up. Just like that. Really pretty. And then they just all close back down. And all sealed in nice and tight. Now, this layout here between these two pages I love, and this is the reason why my book is so thick because of this fancy page here. So I have a three stack pockets right here. So all the tags come right out. Just like that. And then over here for this pocket, it opens up like this. And then I used the die at an angle. This is the on edge die. I used it at an angle to give a very unique looking little corner pocket angles. And on here, it's here and here. And then when you flip them over, I also have them on the opposites, right here and right here. And I thought that was a cute little element to use. And you can put photos on the back sides and stuff if you want. And then we flip open. And then on this page here is a little corner pocket. So take your tags out, which also keeps everything close together. So you just take those out and then right here. So on these pockets here, again, the same tag die. I just used it to cut out my fancy angle on my pocket shapes here. So you can see it fits right like that. So I cut that out just to give a decorative element there. And then folds up. Again, my pockets. You can see that. And another one. And everything opens up, and then inside is a belly band to hold photos and stuff. And then it just all closes back down like that. And then tuck these in the corner, keeps everything nice and tidy. This side here is just a really simple little half belly band with magnetic closures to keep the pages together. And then I <clears throat> excuse me, kept this real simple, so it's just some plain photo mats to add photos. And then open here, and then some nice stack pockets on this page here, so you can keep everything nice and neat as well. And then just some fancy little corner pockets on the back piece, just like that. And they do overlap at the bottom here just for some little design, just like that. Anyway, I just want to thank you for stopping by and checking this out. I want to thank Annalise again for giving me an opportunity to work with her in her amazing dies. I will have a full tutorial coming out on this so you can make one yourself. And you can also take and go pick up some of those amazing dies. And let's just give you a look. So you can, uh, I can't even say it's too dark, but the way the, the pages stack, like I said, they're like a waterfall. So I'll show you how to do that all in the tutorial. And anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.